Hey there, I'm Tar Olmsford and you're watching a review of Eric Chen's True Colors. What is up you beautiful people, my name is Tara Lunsford and welcome back to another magic trick review here on the channel. Today we are going to be looking at Eric Chen's True Colors which is really cool. I'm really excited to do this. It's a really visual color changing card which is a cool idea. And I'll be getting into the in-depth review in just one moment but real quick I just want to say if you go to Mystique Factory's website and use code TYLER10 at checkout you can save 10% off your entire first order with Mystique Factory. So don't pay the full price, get 10% off your entire order there if you use that code and and once again, not making any money off that code, just trying to save you guys some money. So without further ado, let's get into an in-depth review of True Colors by Eric Chin right now. One more thing before this review does get started, I do want to say that Mystique Factory is having a big sale on Hugo Shelley's Insight Pro. So if you want to go check that out, the link is in the description. You can save $100 off of that if you purchase it. They are having a big sale on that, so definitely go check that out. The links are in the description. Now first off, we need to start out by talking about what actually is True Colors. Well, there's a really neat color changing card effect that is actually insanely visual. You can make this a routine or you can make it a standalone Instagram video. It really doesn't matter how you present this, it's going to look cool. The card visually changes from red to blue and stops halfway, so you're left with a mismade card which you then shake and turns into a full blue card completing the color change. When you shake the card, the entire deck also turns blue and now the only card that's not blue is the spectator's card. But now that you have a basic idea of what it is, let's talk more in depth about what you're actually going to be getting. When you open up this package, you'll be receiving a link to a video online that's password protected. It's about an hour long almost and Eric Chen is going to walk you through how to actually perform the effect but you're also going to learn how to actually construct your gimmick that's right you have to construct your own gimmick for this you do get the actual color changing card like the one that stops halfway that card that gimmick is included that's already made for you but if you want to do the like color changing deck edition and stuff like that instead of just the color changing card you are going to have to do some construction and for one of the pieces that you actually need to make the gimmick they don't include it so you do have to find that if you want to make the whole full color changing deck routine just like they show you in the tutorial. How are the angles when it comes to performing true colors? They're good as long as you don't have anyone looking up at you from underneath you should be covered on angles but like I said if someone's gonna be under you obviously I don't know how that would work maybe you're on like a stage and they're looking up but that wouldn't work you do need to have something on you so maybe like a table that you could put the card on or something like that but as far as angles go for the most part you're covered and you could do this surrounded for the most part. There is a little something that actually needs to be covered, but I think that as long as you have practiced this enough and you know where people can view this from and you know what you're supposed to be covering, you could probably make this work surrounded if you really needed to. How difficult is this effect to perform? It's not that difficult to perform. The actual change is really easy to do. The only little bit that's going to take a little bit of practice is just getting a certain move down that requires just a little bit of misdirection. But besides that, the actual color changing card that stops halfway, super easy to do. And the color changing deck is the little bit that's going to take maybe a little bit more practice, but that's pretty easy to do as well. Won't take you too terribly long. Is there any DIY do-it-yourself work that you have to do? Yes, I kind of already answered this question, but I'll go a little bit more in depth. The actual color changing card that stops halfway, that one is constructed. You do get that in the mail, in your package, that's ready to go. But the color changing deck, that part is not constructed. So you will have to construct that. It'll probably take you somewhere between 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how fast you are at building gimmicks and how slow you want to take it and make sure you get it just right. It's not too terribly hard of a build. It's just going to take some time and you do need to know how to split a card. I don't think that really reveals too much, but you do need to know how to split a card. So if you don't know how to do that, then you need to learn. I know Blake Voigt has some great tutorials on splitting cards. I'll link those in the description if you want to check those out. The setup per performance is not going to take that long. Once your gimmicks are built and ready to go, just make sure everything's in the right position and you'll be ready to go in like 30 seconds. And then reset is like five seconds. Just get a new card if you want to do a signed card that changes colors and then you're good to go. Is this examinable? No, it's not. The color changing card is not examinable without a sneaky move to hand out the card. But yeah, the color changing card, not examinable. And the deck itself is examinable except for like the top little bit where your color changing card for the deck is. Are there any negatives to true colors? Yes, unfortunately, this was actually a pretty big turnoff for me. The fact that you have to construct your gimmick after you just paid $55 for this is kind of 
it's kind of irritating actually. If you want to pay 55, almost $60 for something, you kind of expect it to come pre-made. And the color changing card is, but for the color changing deck, that's gonna take like another 20 to 30 minutes worth of gimmick building. And for some people, they don't want to get arts and crafts. I mean, they do include most of the materials you need, except for maybe like a one or two things, which that's another negative. They should have included everything you needed to make the gimmick for $55. But yeah, the negative is really just, I did not, I mean, I love constructing gimmicks, but I know people out there that don't want to construct gimmicks. So that's a negative for me is paying this much money and having to construct a gimmick. Another negative is that you need to be careful of your lighting. The color changing card is kind of reflective. You do need to be careful about that. If you're performing outside in broad daylight, well, you're probably not gonna be performing outside in broad daylight with this. You do need to be like indoors. It doesn't need to be too, ter too terribly dark, but if you're performing outside, it does need to be dark. And if you're performing inside, then wear something dark so that way you don't reflect a lot of light or something like that. Another thing I wanna mention that's not exactly a negative, but it's just something that I want you to know about. The red on the gimmick is pretty close in color to the red on a regular playing card. The red on a regular bicycle, rider back, you know, it's like standard playing card is a little brighter than the red on the gimmick, but it's nothing that your spectators will notice and I think it's okay. What are the positives to performing true colors? Well, a positive is that this actually does look really good in real life. It'll look good on social media and in real life. As long as your lighting situation is under control, then this is gonna look just as good as it looks in the trailer. It really does look that good. It's just you have to be willing to put the time into constructing the gimmick and making sure your lighting's okay. What should this retail as? Well, this currently retails as 55 US dollars and honestly, that's a bit pricey for what you're getting. Now, if this was a constructed gimmick that came with it for your color changing deck and the halfway changing card was, if they were both constructed, then I could understand paying 55, even $60 for this because it's really cool and it's gonna look good but the fact that they didn't even include like one of the things you need to make the gimmick and you have to do cons some construction that's gonna take like 20 to 30 minutes, I, this shouldn't be retailing for $55. So I'm not even gonna give it like a price that it should retail for, but if it came with everything that it was supposed to be, then yeah, it should retail for $55. And if it came constructed, but it doesn't. So you kind of just decide what you want to with that. What would I give this out of 10? I would give this an eight out of 10. If the gimmick came constructed and if it came like all ready to go, then I would probably give this like a nine and a half or a 9.6. The only points that I'd take off was the lighting restrictions because everything else is really cool. But the fact that you do have to construct it after you paid this much money for it, it's just, it's just not something that I think should get a perfect score if you have to construct it. And it's not that I have a problem with constructing gimmicks. In fact, I love making gimmicks. That is something that I do in my free time. I just come up with new gimmicks and make them and construct them. That's something I enjoy. But when you're paying this much for something, I know people want it to come ready to go. And if you really wanted to have people construct it, then price it lower. And if you wanted people to not have to construct it, then price it higher. Like it is, it's not too difficult, I don't think, but I just would have loved to seen this as constructed already. Should you pick this up? Yes, if you like visual tricks, if you like color changing cards, color changing routines, stuff like that, I think that this is gonna be really cool for you as long as you're willing to put in the time to actually construct the gimmick. Then this is probably gonna be really cool and I would recommend it. Now Mystique Factory did inform me that the distributor is actually sold out of True Colors at the moment, but they said they do have a few units left ready to ship out. So if you'd like to purchase it from them, the link is in the description. That's gonna do it for this review video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I was able to help you make a more informed decision about whether or not you want to purchase true colors if you would like to link me down below in the description and also in the description is linked to my instagram page there you can follow me on instagram at tower Lizard magic and there i post some like cool tricks on there that i've like made like original stuff i post like tricks that i've reviewed i post places for you to ask questions about the products i'm going to review the really cool stuff going on down there so definitely go check that out if you would like to but i would like to thank you so much for watching this video and thank you to mystique factory for sending me this product so i can do the review for you beautiful people remember to use code tyler10 at checkout save 10 percent off your entire first order with them. So once again, thank you for watching this video and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. See ya.